So when did this club start up? Well, Stephen set it up a few months ago. Uh, there were more people originally, but a lot of them left after the first few days. Girls, mainly. Uh, I don't think the shirtless incident helped with that. I think a lot of them found Stephen too creepy. But then Guy showed up. So I don't think they notice it too much anymore. So, what's your role in the club? Club? What club? So this is where everyone convenes. We used to actually study in that room over there, but we're not allowed in there anymore due to some unfortunate events. Oh yeah? And why is that guy? Well, if the radiator fluid isn't drinkable, then why isn't it labelled as such? Hmm? So these are a few of the more familiar faces around here. This is Gus, a bit of a jokester. That's me, I'm a G-man, as some might call me. Shut up, mate, just let him get on with it. Fucking G-man. You want laughter? Come to me. Mr. Jason, call me. J for Joker, obviously. Some people just don't get me. A few years ago, my mother had me tested after my father left because I was acting up. I mean, I did end up getting diagnosed with a small case of ADHDs, but that's not really the point, is it? Are we rolling? Yeah? Yeah, we are, okay. Right. I do feel bad for Gus sometimes. Uh, his dad actually left him and his mum a few years back. Yeah, that, that changed him quite a bit, actually. Still, can't blame him. Oh my God, Gus, stop. Even though sometimes you want to absolutely smash his head in. So, uh, what position are we going to be doing for the camera then? Hilarious. <laughs> oh. So, this is Stephen and Mary Sue over here. These are actually a few of my closer friends. Brother and sister, actually, so. No, we're not. Listen, guys. Yeah. There's no shame around doing that. Oh, no, no. Not siblings, although we are quite close. I guess you could say Miri and I are an item. We've been growing closer by the second, not only spiritually, but uh, physically. No, no. There's no romance between us. Oh, she's funny. Acting up for the camera. Yeah, but I'm not acting up. We've known each other for like three months, even. I hate it when he does that. It's gone to the point where I genuinely believe that he thinks that we're a thing. But then that's Stephen for you. How do I look on camera, by the way? Just because, you know. Yeah, no, you look good. Don't worry about it. Good. Just because some of my friends could see this. Or maybe some of the people here. What are you doing? So, Mary C seems to be one way up with you recently. Mary C? Hmm. You sure? So, do you get along with the girls around here then? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I hate to kiss and tell, but uh. <laughs> I'm sure you get the idea. She's not my first radio though. Oh, no. I've had quite a few in my time. Sweet Jenny, for example. Lovely chick. Cracking body. Uh, blind in both eyes, actually. Oh, how did that happen? Can you talk about it? Oh. I didn't blind her with my baby blue eyes, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It was a genetic thing, actually. Yeah. Funnily enough, our uh, first date was a trip to go and see Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, don't. Oh. Why is that funny? Oh, I wore a blindfold and uh, asked if she felt uh, closer to me. Turns out she couldn't see, so uh, the joke <laughs> was ruined. <sighs> And the film wasn't even suitable for the blind, so, uh, tragic date. Ended with Jenny there and then, so no more seeing her. It's not like she could see me anyway. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Wait, so you forgot she was blind then? <laughs> Have a look at this quick. She doesn't look too happy with Obviously she wasn't happy, guess she was Jewish. Are you saying all Jewish people aren't happy? No, she was persecuted by the Nazis, Gus. Obviously, she wouldn't be happy. 
Well, look at this when she was a baby. She doesn't look too happy either way, does she? How's work going then, fellas? Well, uh, they're clowning about some uh, Jewish person. I used to be a clown, actually. Used to do uh, birthday parties and fates. Yeah, even just sometimes in the mirror. Uh, yeah. Really? Do you get paid much? Why would they pay me? I paid them. What? Could just be a drill. Right, everyone, calm down. It's okay. I'm trained in fire safety. Right, come on, Mary, let's go. <laughs> oh, Christ. Right, get out of my way now. He's making a fool out of himself. He doesn't know the first thing about fire safety. Ah, oh, so you made it out alive then? Oh, I left my ethyl on the side. Why did you have ethanol? Well, just in case then. When has there ever been a downside to keeping ethanol on you? Exactly. Never. Oh shit. What is it now? My badger skin jacket, I left it inside. Your badger skin jacket? Yeah, they're very expensive. So you left your badger skin jacket inside? Yeah, I was just letting it soak in soapy water. Right, well, why would you go back for that anyway? Oh, well, can't go in here now, no. no. Could be engulfed in flames. Wow. The building's not actually on fire though, is it? It could just be a drill. Yeah, well, you know what? Neither you or, or I actually know that, do we, Yoan? That is not how you say my name, Stefan. Oh, sure it is, yeah. It's Yo. Wait, what? No, it's Yuan. No, what you said before? When? At the end, you said something? Uh, I don't think I did. Oh, you know what, mate? Yeah? We'll leave it there. All right? Life should be lost. Okay, fireman Sam. What's all this then? They've come to film me. No, they've come to film the club, basically, just to see what it's all about. So, uh, so don't tell them about the ethanol. E ethanol? Exactly, exactly. Right, so it's a documentary about freaks then. People just don't like Jessica. She can be a little bit capricious. Why are you following us? <laughs> As if I follow you. Well, who are you following then? Obviously, she's trying to be friends with me. Ah, trying to bump the friend number up to a whole one, are we? I'm sure she has friends, Ewan. Yeah, I'm not pathetic, Ewan. Yeah, all right. That's a nice necklace. Thanks, yeah, it's nice. You know, if you want, I can get in touch with my regular fence guy. I actually sold him some of my crude oil last week. Yeah. Not all of it though. No, definitely not. No. No, there's a reason he pays good money for that stuff. Yeah. I'll pass on that guy, but thanks. Where did you get it from? I made it myself. Yeah. So, what work are we doing over here then? We've been set this assignment on Anne Frank. Such an inspiration. Right. Remind me again, what did Anne Frank do? She doesn't take history. No, no, no. I know, I know. Um, she sat at the back of the bus, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Ewan thinks he's so smart, trying to embarrass me in front of Mary Sue. But I know he wants in, and he knows that I'd never give him the time of day. Because I'm constantly scouting, looking for worthy people. Worthy people like who? Mary Sue, of course. But she needs to get wits about her. And when she does, I could have her. Are you not worried about Ewan getting in the way? <laughs> no. No, thanks, I'm good. How about you, Gus? Do you want some? No, I'm lactose intolerant, you know that. That's why you snuck cheese into my sarnie. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. How about you, Stephen? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. What about you, Guy? Mm, that depends. Is it asbestos free? I mean, yeah. Yeah, of course it is. That's right. Cheers, man. Have a bit of chocolate, thanks. So, uh, is that your favourite chocolate then, Yoan? Yeah, it's, it's alright. So, what did everyone do on the weekend? Oh, you know me. Every Sunday, I'm in the garden lounging. It rained on Sunday. Rain doesn't stop me from having a good time. <laughs> I have a gazebo anyways. Jessica, what did you do on the weekend? Same thing I do on both days, I worked. Remind me again, where do you work again? Hospital. 
But the difference between working at the hospital and being sectioned there, though, isn't it? Very funny, you am. Oh, that's one of the Actually, for example, I was a medic. She didn't actually assist with the patients more treated and trained other nurses. Go. I won. I won. Oh, how much did you win, Gus? I won £30 on my scratch card. Yeah, well, that's only like £30. Well, who wants coffee then? On me. Go on then, mate. How do you do with a cheeky beverage, you know? You know what, guys? Absolutely hate coffee. Don't want to come. So wait, we were, so we're going to Gus's, even though we were meant to be at a coffee shop. It doesn't look like a Starbucks, Gus. <laughs> wait, where's Guy? And you like bit the swing or whatever. And yeah. one time I was I was out there with my friend yeah. on the swing. And, uh, 